What's up my friends, welcome back! A few months ago my workshop door lock got busted. So I'm without a door lock since then because I was waiting for all the parts for this tutorial to arrive. I want to build myself an electronic keypad door lock using a microcontroller. I'm sure that you will like this tutorial because it's a pretty interesting one. What I want to do is insert a password using one of these cheap keypads that I bought from eBay for less than 70 cents. If the password is correct, the door would open using a servo motor that would move a slide lock like this one. But if the password is wrong, an error will show on the LCD screen and I will have to try it once again. I will also add a small buzzer to this project in order to have some sound signals. Using two push buttons, I will be able to open and close the door from inside of the room in case of an emergency. So let's start with a tutorial. Remember, all the part list, examples, schematics and codes are in the description down below. We will use Arduino Uno to make the tests, but finally I recommend you to switch it for an Arduino Nano because it is a lot smaller. I bought this 4x4 keypad from eBay for under 1 euro. To slide the door lock I'll use this SG9 micro servo. It will be strong enough to slide the lock, but you could use a bigger one if needed. To reduce the pin amount I use this I2C LCD screen. It's a very cheap module and I also bought it from eBay. We will also need one active buzzer, two push buttons, two 1 kilo ohm resistors for the pull downs and maybe some LEDs to make this door lock look cooler. Let's first take a look at this example. I have set the password to 3007. I type in that code and press A to confirm. As you can see it says accepted and the servo spins. You will have to set the minimum and maximum angle of the servo depending on your slide lock size. If I'll try a wrong password the error will show up. Let's try again. This time the password is correct. Once the door is open to close it just press the B character. Now we are back in the main password screen. Pressing the open push button the door will directly open without password. Put these two push buttons inside of the locked room. We'll use a 9V battery to supply the system. Maybe a permanent transformer would be a better idea because if the battery is low the door would never open and we don't want that. Let's take a look at the schematic. Connect the I2C module of the LCD screen to analog pins A4 and A5, which are data and clock. Supply 5 volts to the LCD screen and also to the servo motor. Connect ground as well. Connect digital pin 10 to the signal wire of the servo motor. Now connect the 8 pin from the keypad from digital pin 2 to digital pin 9 of the Arduino. Make sure that the connections are in the correct order. If you look close enough you will see a dot or a 1 on the keypad connector. This number marks the first pin. We can also see that the columns are marked with white and the rows with black. Connect them in the same order, if not you will have to change the code later. Now connect the buzzer to ground and digital pin 11. It has to be a pulse width modulated pin, if not the buzzer won't be able to make sounds. Connect two pull down resistors from the push buttons to ground. Connect the wire from the same pin of the push buttons to digital pin 12 and 13 of the Arduino. Connect 5 volts to the other side of the push button. In this way the digital input will be always in the low state except when the button is pressed because then we will have 5 volts at the input. The schematic is ready. Let's now take a look at the code. As always we import the libraries. Remember that this I2C LCD module needs a special library in order to work. Download the liquid crystal I2C library from a link below. 
open Arduino IDE. Go to Sketch, include library, add zip library and open the downloaded zip file in order to install it. Now we are ready to make our code. These two variables define the maximum rotation of the servo motor. I have set mine from 90 to 180 degrees. We create some extra variables that we will need along the code. Here we configure the keypad. We have to include the keypad library as well. Download it from a link below and install it. Define the rows and columns amount. This is the layout of my keypad. If you press one key but a different character is printed on the screen, that means that you've wide run the columns and rows. You can change that or change this layout to match your pressed buttons. These are the pins used for the keypad. You can also change these values if the keypad doesn't work properly. In the setup loop, we select our servo pin. In this case, digital pin 10. Start the screen and print the main text. We also put the servo in the closed position using the servo write function. Now, in the infinite loop, we first open or close the door depending on the two emergency push buttons. After that, we make the character read. This is all the code that makes the four character password write. Once we arrive at the fourth character and press the A key, we check if the password is correct in order to open or not the door. If the password is wrong, display the error and start again. If it's correct, set the servo to the open position and print door open. Now compile and upload and let's give it a test. Works nice, doesn't it? I'll mount this system to my door. I will also print a 3D case for the keypad and the LCD to give it a nice look. I'll leave it functioning with a 9V battery for now. I'll install a transformer later. We could always add a Bluetooth connection to this Arduino, connecting a module to pins 1 and 2 and open the door using our smartphone. In a previous video, I shown you how to create a Bluetooth app and how to control Arduino pins with it. Check that video if you want to make your own app. Now, in the same way, I've created this simple app that will send the letter O when open and the letter C when close. Download the app and install it to your Android smartphone. Connect the Bluetooth module to your Arduino pins TX and RX like shown in this second schematic. Now, download the second code for the Arduino Bluetooth control and upload it to your Arduino. Now you can open the door using the app as well. In this case, the app would be the key to the door and anyone who has it could open it. If you don't want to use the Bluetooth, just upload the previous code and you are ready to go. Well, I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned for more. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, like, share and subscribe in order to motivate me for more videos like this one. Thanks again and see you later guys!